Magnets are divided into permanent and non-permanent magnets. Permanent magnets are natural products of nature. It can maintain magnetism for a long time and is not easy to lose magnetism. For example, magnetite. Non-permanent magnets, which need to be under specific conditions to generate magnetic force. For example, electromagnets. So how are the permanent magnets used now made? The first step in making magnets is to create a mold. First, you need to place a plate containing four magnet shapes. Enter the sand filling machine. Wait for the worker to take out the model and smooth the dent caused by the top cover of the machine. Put it back again. This time the machine will punch gas into the sand to undergo a magical chemical change that hardens in a few seconds. And now the sandboard has become a durable mold. These molds come in various shapes and sizes. And now the factory will mix various raw materials to make magnets, including copper, hook, silver, pure iron, aluminum, and titanium workers. All the material is put into an induction furnace, which creates a pulsed electromagnetic field. Then the metal is heated to close to 1,648 degrees Celsius, and then stirred constantly to melt everything into a liquid. And then the liquid metal is poured into a mold made of sand. Because the gas of hardened sand is highly flammable, the mold will start to burn when the mold is pushed to the foundry and then pushed to the floor on the other side, and the gas is burned out while using a sledgehammer to make the air weak and cooling the mold with a fan. The metal is then sucked out of the sand block with a magnet, but the metal has not yet been magnetized, so it is necessary to use a set of rings for electric motors to be attached to the barrel. Applied to motors, toys, magnetic suction, wireless charging, UAV.